My mom made that for me when I finished my PhD. <laughs> I went to college thinking I was going to study literature. I did not take physics in high school because, you know, that was lame. Um, but uh, I had to take a bunch of gen ed requirements when I got to college and so I thought that physical sciences requirement was going to be really annoying and I should get it over with as soon as possible. So I took an astronomy class and I haven't stopped taking astronomy classes since. I got hooked by the questions. I really like the big questions of astronomy. I'm very interested in how stars and planets form, and I'm in particular interested in how that's different in different types of star-forming environments. These jets and outflows stand out all over the place. I'm interested in these big environments and how stars are affecting each other, um, in particular in the big environments that form some of the biggest stars that will have the biggest impact on the sun-like stars around them. So what does that mean for the outcome of star formation? What does that mean for the ability of those star systems to make planets? What kind of planetary systems will they have? So one of the great things about these images that we're getting from the James Webb Space Telescope is, I guess compared to previous observatories, you're getting a picture over a pretty large area. You get a lot of information about the source itself just from this picture, and then you do even better by adding other wavelengths of light or other types of data to that to start to build up this picture of what different types of stars that we hope are still um, sun-like stars are doing at these stages in their life and what that would mean again for their future as grown-up stars with hopefully grown-up planet systems around them. Rice is a great place to be an astronomer because we have a real focus on star and planet formation here. So we've got a nice group with enthusiastic students and um, faculty members who are interested in related problems. So we've got uh, several different perspectives on the problem. So I'm teaching protostars and planets this semester. So we've got a group of graduate students where we're kind of discussing the state of the field and where things are going and how we can leverage new and upcoming observatories like the James Webb Space Telescope to kind of push things forward and answer some of these big questions.